In 2014, Danlo Noir, a medium-sized European enterprise, which half of its staff is visually impaired, decided to finance electrification of elementary schools in Africa. A paradox for the blind, bringing light to sighted children, this generous idea is now reality. A number of schools like this are equipped with solar panels allowing classes to be lighted after 5 p.m. And the progress reports have been more successful. Avec l'électricité, les élèves parviennent à apprendre la nuit, mais les maîtres aussi parviennent à mieux préparer leurs leçons. The firm Dans le Noir has named the program A Light for Africa with this hope. Giving a better education to those kids will contribute to a better future for their country. The gift of a computer to the school is a symbol of that, a sense of pride for the teachers and a will to learn for the pupils. Nous allons essayer d'initier les élèves à connaître les matériels, à connaître l'ordinateur. Maintenant, au fur et à mesure que l'élève progresse, on, on peut aussi euh, les enseigner, les programmer autres. And then the Light for Africa kit includes solar lamps to take home with a small contribution, an allowance which will be used to maintain the system and change a burnt bulb. The idea of this kit has influenced other small or medium-sized enterprise. Simple and direct, this gift changes the quality of life of those communities, including recharging of mobile phones. A local startup, Station Energy, has been in charge of installation. The system is robust. After three years of installation, the system functions. We have no grand souci, and it shows really that they have made continuous progress with the energy solar. So it's a very important tool for this community. The association of parents decides what extra use must be set up, like a library in the village to encourage reading. In this other school, teachers have electricity in their housing. It gives them the desire to stay longer in these poor communities rather than teaching in town. Ça nous permet quand même de, de vivre mieux, d'avoir l'information au quotidien. Ça ne laisse pas un peu déconnecté du reste du monde quand même. In those rural areas, public schools should continue to be appealing. It is now in competition with Quranic schools in the aim of secularity and girls' education, which is at stake. On a une politique pour sensibiliser la population afin qu'ils maintiennent les enfants à l'école et surtout les filles, hein, et surtout les filles. Don Noir is now present in Benin. A Light for Africa has developed a joint venture with Adi Action, an NGO specialized in education. Four schools are equipped with solar panels, a climax of a program which includes environmental and health learning. Avant de savoir lire, il faut être en bonne santé. Donc, Adi Action nous apporte l'expertise nécessaire pour amener les enfants à prendre en charge leur santé. Those schools receive very little money from the government. Ed Action pays for extras such as computer learning, literacy courses, and after-school programs. Ed Action donne quelques fonds pour nous aider à recruter des maîtres qui sont chargés d'aider les enfants en dehors des heures de cours. The program restores prestige of the school and enhances the teacher's authority. With homework help during the evening, results at final exams are much better. Nous sommes passés de 50% à 82,06% de taux de réussite pour l'année 2016-2017. Et ça, c'est grâce à l'éclairage. This action created by Edouard Dubré, founder of Dan Le Noir, and Alexandre Castel from Station Energy intrigued other godfathers, small enterprises, NGO, and even crowdfunding, with gratitude from the local population and confidence from donors. Ce projet est vraiment concret. L'argent va directement dans le matériel que, que l'on installe et on apporte les besoins essentiels qui manquent aujourd'hui dans, dans beaucoup d'écoles rurales en Afrique de l'Ouest. The next step could come from an internet connection. The Abraham Hannibal Fund is working on it through tablets. In the future, those young African scholars could discuss with young French scholars in rural France and their teachers. Listen to MOOC from the most prestigious universities. A new world comes up in front of our eyes.
Thousands of children impacted. Schools in Senegal, Benin, and the Ivory Coast. The equipment of one school costs a few thousand euros, a very modest amount considering you can get 60% of tax reduction as a donation to charities.